Hello, Macy here. This is Shipyard, a little series I'm going to run which focuses on individual ships and um, we can talk about them for a bit and I'll show you how to fly them and offer you the download. This particular ship is HDF Marine Transport which was featured in episode 13 of the Navy Carrier series which is now called the Spirit Wolf series. Sometimes I may feature a ship that isn't in the series just messing around and things like that because I do enjoy building ships that is what KSP is all about for me and um, so this is a place from which I can build some ships and show them to you but I will also feature your ships that I um, implement into the series and we'll get to that soon. I spent the last few weeks trying to plan um, the new series and how I'm going to go about doing this but there's been a few problems one of which being that 0.21 is out soon and um, it will require a fresh save which is a big problem of course because we're going to lose everything um, so it may require that we start again and um, I'll get to that soon but also I have lost um, my Hanland pilot because um, due to the vehemence of some of your comments I think you frightened off um, my Hanland pilot I mean of course no one wants to be the bad guy you see so I've tried a few other people um, to be the Hanland pilot but it does require a certain amount um, of competence and a certain way of going about things should I say which is quite hard to find so for the meantime I think I'm going to have to fly the um, Hanland ships which I've done in the past to some effect but um, it's a shame and I haven't been able to get around that I have finally worked out how I'm going to go about this new series and um, there will be a video coming out directly after this explaining to you how to um, submit ships to that new series and the guidelines in which I'm going to run that series that's coming out directly after this so look out for that I haven't been around for a couple of weeks now because I've had a friend um, staying with me and the problem with KSP is it's quite antisocial isn't it um, <laughs> so um, I've been playing a few more social games like um, Minecraft and Guns of Icarus which is a brilliant game by the way I might even feature some of that on this channel um, but yeah back to KSP now like I said, this is HDF Marine Transport, which is Hanlan's latest development for deploying troops where needed. Um, it's not a great ship. It doesn't fly extremely well, but it does what it says on the tin. Uh, so I'm going to feature it now, and I'll show you how to fly it. It is a VTOL, but not a full VTOL. It's far too heavy and cumbersome and unbalanced for that. But if you just hit 2, and which is the VTOL engines, and let them warm up a bit, and then once you just see yourself lift off the ground hit the main engine and you can take off at a diagonal it's designed basically to take off and land on rough terrain but it, it won't hover you can see it's quite similar to an Isprit but looks is where the similarity ends because it's not an Isprit it's very heavy and unwieldy so um, when you get to these sorts of speeds you can kill the VTOL engines and just continue on the main engine which has got a very long range actually because it's jet fuel only um, Although it's heavy, it is quite manoeuvrable when you get the speed up, so it's not too bad. You'll find it very heavy on the nose, though. You'll have to keep pulling back on the stick. And if you haven't got a stick, I thoroughly recommend getting one because it makes flying space planes so much easier and more fun. And they're relatively inexpensive. I picked mine up for about £20, which I'm not sure what that is. It's what, $30? So now we're coming into land, and landing this ship is actually much easier than the Isprit. Landing the Isprit can be a, a real pain. But I think a VTOL with landing gear is a much more effective way of overcoming that awful terrain of lay than elsewhere. It just it can land on the wheels but the travel time is very very small. So all I've done here is just cut the main engine and just coast in only on the VTOLs. Keep it as straight as you can which I'm quite failing to do here actually but it, it's not too bad keep it quite straight and then drop your speed to somewhere below 20 meters a second um, if you really want to limit the amount of time you're rolling land with the brakes on and just drop down slowly and there it is so it's an almost VTOL an almost VTOL <laughs> the ship is armed with six Havoc missiles um, which aren't massively effective to be honest don't tell that to House in One um, I've got them on individual action groups so you can launch them individually um, but it does create a lot of instability when you do that and the chances of hitting anything um, are minimal to be honest um, but if you fire them as salvos you can get a much better result um, what I mean by that is if you fire 
0 and 5, 6 and 9, 7 and 8 at the same time, so you're firing them balanced, um, then it won't swing you around so much. So we're just on VTOLs here, and you can see that's much better. But they are very inaccurate, these things. It's more of an area of denial rather than actual true <laughs> effectiveness, unfortunately. But I had to make them very light to fit six of them on. So that's the HDF Marine Transport. Now to get the um, Marines on board, of which it can carry eight, um, there's a very simple trick to doing this. And I do this for um, all ships I'm having to load extra crew on. Just take a three-man cockpit like this and then get... Um, two separatons or one separaton with symmetry um, point it backwards and put it on either side like this and then load it onto the runway and just hit space and it will take you off the apron of the runway there because if anything was on that you can't launch a new ship without deleting that first you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want for more crew as much crew as you need but for now I'll just show you um, with one so now you load your ship onto the runway and you just flick to the other one that's sitting here off the back, um, get your crew man out and run him over to the ship. It seems um, pretty obvious, doesn't it? But um, this completely eluded me when I was loading up House in 1 to leave. You saw the um, ridiculous measures I went to to load up that ship. I could have just done this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I strongly advise you to do it this way if you ever want to um, load up more crew into your ships um, without using mods. But, yeah, to get this into his seat... Um, you need to carefully tweak the camera so you can see the little seat inside and then click on it and load and you'll just jump in. Do that eight times and you have it fully loaded. So if you want to deploy them, press space, blows the door off and there they will be sitting inside. So that is the marine transport, the HDF marine transport and all the instructions on how to fly it. And if you want the download, then please go to the link and um, find it in the ship repository. Uh, bye for now.